guys. So, um, I went on, okay, first, let me start over. Okay, so I started my job this past Monday and I had to drive like an hour there and an hour home every day. I've been like, I was very exhausted. Then Friday we started um, coming home and we set up all of our equipment and everything. And so come Saturday, I was ready to get out of the house and just have a little me time. And what I always find very therapeutic um, is thrifting. So I found some amazing, amazing, amazing things. And I just want to go over everything with you. Um, excuse the way I look, but um, to be honest, I wore makeup all week at work. And I do have an allergy to um, not really foundation and stuff, but I do have an allergy to a lot of eye makeups. Um, and I've yet to find a good eye makeup that's genuinely hypoallergenic. Alme used to cut it for me, but it does not anymore. So I have to find new eye makeup, eyeliner, eyeshadow, anything that has to do with my eyes. Otherwise my eyes dry out. And so half the time I just figure why wear makeup. I wore it most of my life. I was very vain. I'm not calling everybody who wears makeup vain, but I wore it camping on camping trips and stuff where I should have just gone au natural. Okay. <laughs> so enough talking. Um, I just think I've definitely worn enough makeup in my lifetime that it's okay to, um, you know, be a little natural sometimes. And that's who I am. I'm super chill. I'm super laid back. I like my hoodies, my leggings, my tennies, um, my ball caps. Uh, but you know, I clean up nice too. So, <laughs> okay. So first I just want to start off with, okay. So as, um, if you've watched my previous videos, you guys know that I, um, thrift for crafting. I thrift for myself, for our home. Um, and I also thrift to resell on sites like eBay, Macari. I'm not on Poshmark, but I do have an Etsy store. It's just not active right now because I haven't been selling um, my crafts. So um, I need to probably get more active with Etsy. And I think the more videos I do and we'll see what kind of time I have now that I'm working again. Um, but we will start with what I got the last couple days. Okay, so we'll start off with something maybe not so exciting, but going for, um, it is selling on eBay. It's the Wherever Super Shooter. Now, I am torn if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to um, sell it. But I paid $5.49 for it. Everything is there. And it's vintage. And I make spritz cookies. Um, I always use my mom's uh, aluminum like cookie press. And I always have to go borrow it. And it's a really nice one. Um, and I also like to do like deviled eggs and all kinds of stuff. And I do have... Um, like tendonitis I get real bad on on my wrist and I also believe I've got some carpal tunnel setting in so I'm wondering if that would be you know better for me but then on the other hand they're selling for anywhere from like 50 to 100 dollars on eBay so it's like I'm really torn do I want to keep it do I want to sell it but anyway the comps are really good for it so ah we'll see okay then um, I'm all over the board with what I got. So I'm just going to, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with kitchen stuff first. So as an, if you guys all have been watching my prior videos, I am collecting my heritage white vintage false graph. And I am found a ton of pieces all at once, but then things have kind of slowed down. I haven't really been seeing as much. But I went into this really cool, um, it's a vendor's like uh, market shop, like, oh, it's called Two Sisters. It's amazing. I think I spent, 
an hour or more in there yesterday just looking at every single booth and I there were some items I wanted to get and I forgot to go back and I'm going to take you guys in there with me someday and just show you all the amazing things I promise uh, they were packed so uh, Saturday is definitely not the day to go um, but if I can find a day that I may be off work and or something, but you guys, we I gotta take you in there. It's so cool. But I found my butter dish. And no chips, no crazing. I mean it's perfect. It is um vintage. It has the embossed castle on it. Um I don't think you can really see with the light glare. Now I'm to the point where I'm just going to be picking up little pieces. You know, I have the majority of what I want. When I got off work last week, I stopped in a Goodwill and I was so happy I found one canister. And then I looked at it cl more closely and it had some chips. And I'm like, oh, man. But it was only one canister. And then I got on Marketplace and I was looking to see, like, who's local that is selling the canisters. And there's actually, like people up by Chicago that are selling them for like 20 and $30. And I'm like, oh, is it worth the drive? Or on eBay, they're selling for like 100, like 85, 90, you know? And so I'm like, plus shipping. So it might be definitely like worth it to, to drive a little bit to go get certain pieces that I want. Or maybe like if I'm traveling anyway, just kind of go from there. And then there is somebody local who's selling some of the stuff and I probably need to reach out to her and see and just grab those pieces. Cause it's, this is not something I want to continue to do forever is collect these pieces. I'm starting, and I know I got super lucky getting the pieces I did so quickly, but I would like to just get what I need and put that behind me. If that makes any sense. I'm getting impatient. I know that's horrible. But anyway, I was glad I found the butter dish for $4. Um, it beat paying like 15 to 20 on line plus shipping. So that was a find for me because I collect it. Okay. Um, another kitchen item. I'm always picking up these cute little cheese crocks. I love them. And I love this, you know, just natural very natural tan um, crop color and I think I paid maybe a dollar ninety nine for this and then this is super cheesy I know but it's the little things that make us happy so I love these big things I always keep one on my um, nightstand they're not with the handle it's not good uh, a, a good travel mug because you can't really fit it in there but for around the house and then I found out, so this is comes off and it's separate, which I didn't know that. So now I have a whole just tumbler. And then the, this can come off and go on other ones. I tried it on some other ones I had and it fit. So I was super excited about that. And I paid $1.44 for it. Um, yeah, so I was super excited and black. Can't go wrong with black. And it is missing a little thing, but I have other lids that fit this too. But I always keep a water on my bedside at night. And it. I always... Um, have my hand brace on when I sleep and so I love the fact that I can just grab it by the handle and you know sit my straw and um, and be done with it like and I won't hurt because sometimes I feel like I can't even pick it up this way or I'll grab it this way and it it just if anybody struggles with that themselves like you'll understand what I'm talking about Cause it's a big, too, almost too big of a mug. Um, okay, so more kitchen stuff. So, okay. So these are just two rando spoons, wooden spoons, really nice, very good quality. This one, these work together and I paid $2.59 for them. This one has a chip. But I'm just going to sand it down. And you know what? It doesn't need to be perfect. It'll it'll make it even, it'll give it more character. But I at least want it smooth. Because I'll probably use it. So I got those. And like I said, $2.59. Now these, this set here, I was actually on Marketplace. 
and it was five bowls. Now these are all matching and this one's a little different, really thick. Um, but these actually go with this set and I believe it's vintage. But I was super excited. It's a, you know, um, beautiful, beautiful wood. Gorgeous. And the bowls have such beautiful grain. I just, I'm a lover of natural. So I was super excited to find these. I'm not reselling them. These are for my own personal use. And then this one is really pretty. But it's just a little different. It's just an oddball one. But, you know, unless you're really looking, you can't, you know, tell that much. You can tell that this needs, like, oiled really good, like, reconditioned the wood. It's very dry looking. The other ones just need a good washing, but I will probably get them all conditioned. But I was super happy, and I did pay $10 for these, but these are going for, I mean, upwards of $30 to $40 on eBay. But, like I said, I'm, I'm keeping these. Then I found this adorable, and I already have one, because if you saw in a previous video... But I can switch them up, you know. It's to keep your tea bag on it, a little teapot. And it's um, almost looks like maybe it was handmade or hand painted. It's, it's definitely from a mold. But I thought that was so cute. So, or who knows, maybe I'll gift it to somebody. And then this was also 99 cents. And it's just a cute little acorn, just a little shelf setter, just something really cute. And it is also hollow, so that was a mold. Really neat, too. Like, you can tell. It almost looks handmade the way that... Just... But it has such a nice glaze. This is kind of more of a matte, and then this is real glossy. So, just cute. Okay. Then we'll stick with kitchen. I was... Okay, so that stuff was, like yesterday. What else did I get yesterday? Hold on. We'll just finish yesterday and then we'll go to what I found today. Okay. So I guess that concludes the kitchen stuff for, oh no. no. So I don't normally ever, ever look at silverware. Like I just don't, I don't take the time but there's a girl I follow, um, the homeschooling picker. I love her. Oh my gosh, Kayla, Kayla. And so I just get a lot of helpful tips from her and she's always picking up silverware. And even if it's not like a full set, she'll, she'll still just go on there and she will, you know, if she knows it's a value, she'll sell it out and separate it and sell it separate. Well, in this bag, I found two sets of vintage. This one that I found, it's called, it's by Echo. And it is um, a faux wood, but I'll tell you, it's beautiful. And, and it has, a, it's called the can, canoe. So if you look. You can see how it comes up and it is neat, 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 beautiful. And I can't remember how many pieces I counted that I have, but people are selling just like randoms and they're, the, they're selling. They are selling like crazy. I looked up the comps on eBay and hundreds of dollars hundreds like someone sold a full set of these for like eight hundred dollars another had them um, listed for and they're selling like i'm looking at sold comps not even the complete sets are selling for hundreds of dollars so people are collecting these and i have i do not have anywhere close to a complete set so but i have a lot so i could sell all the forks 
for like, because I have a lot of forks, like 60 bucks or more. I could sell what, I only have a few spoons, four spoons, but I could probably get 40 bucks out of those four spoons. I could individually sell these. People are individually selling each piece for $10, each piece for 10. So if, if I took, let's just count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's a hundred. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's two hundred. Two, four, and then one. So two hundred and fifty dollars I could make off literally just what I bought. And the funny thing is, is I bought this, and, and same with these. Not quite as expensive, but they're up there. And these are the Oneida um, Woodmere, Woodmer um, collection. And they're the, the wheat. And these are, and I don't have as many pieces, but I have like... But these are selling for like $6.50 a piece. And I have like, I got the butter knife. And I think this is like a, another just sugar spoon or something. And then I have four knives, a bunch of spoons, and like three forks. But I could sell these separate too. But people are buying them. I looked up at the comps. People have recently purchased these on both sets. So I don't want to become some crazy silverware seller and end up with a bunch of like silverware. But I'm definitely going to keep my eye open for, um, and I was torn because part of me wanted to keep those uh, vintage wood, the uh, Echo Canoe ones. And, but I don't decorate vintage. My home isn't vintage. I mean, someone else who really gets into that can appreciate these so much. I appreciate them. But someone else will be able to appreciate them way, way more. I'm just happy that I found them. I was like, wow. And I had a $10 credit, so this bag was $5.46, and I had like a $10 um, credit from spending so much at Goodwill. And so I was able to get basically those for free. So I basically paid nothing for this bag of silverware and stand to make hundreds of dollars. You always want to make sure you check comps on stuff and that you see that it's actively selling right now and what it's going for. If it sold three years ago, you can't go by that. If it sold two years ago, you can't go by that. I would say within the last six, three to six months, what did it sell for and are they selling now, currently? So when I see January, February, March, in the last three months, what things are selling for, that's what I'm going by, and it's amazing. Okay, then I found this vintage telescope lamp, and these are going for like $50. And I paid $379, and it works. I plugged it in. A guy sold his, just like mine, um, now these are different from the Ikea lamps that are out there that they're completely different. These are, and I know UL is Underwriters Laboratories, okay? That is not the, the brand of this company. But Underwriter Laboratories is who checks, like basically makes sure that the lights that, the, if there's this stamp, it just means that it's safe. It's It passes all the electoral codes or from what I understand. But it's not the brand of the company. But it is still not the same one. That There's a ton out there um, that Ikea put out. And although it looks very similar, it has the Ikea one has a longer pull here. And then it also um, doesn't have these... There's just certain characteristics about it that are different. But if you just look at it first glance, it looks like one of theirs, but it's not. So, but this is really cool. Um, 
And uh, again, everything I find vintage, even though I don't really decorate vintage, that's like style, I always want to keep it because I know it's vintage. Doesn't make sense, but it's just something in me that thinks this is cool. This is neat. But I have to remember that I didn't buy it and pick it up because I wanted to keep it myself. I bought it and picked it up because I want to sell it. Okay. Now, moving on. These van flip-flops very nice they look like they've never been worn like there's no wear on them at all whatsoever they look literally brand new excellent condition i paid 5.99 for them and i can get probably now brand new they're selling for like 30 but um these are new without tags and I could, um, they are selling on eBay for like, I think the most, like 25, like twenty four ninety nine or something like that. But I can definitely, it, I might put them for 20, 22 or something. Um, they still make these, they're still in production. So I did try them on because they're super comfy. The cushion is amazing. I forget what that's called. And the arch support on them is amazing. I wore a nine and these fit me like, I mean, heel to toe, just perfect. So I want to say these are probably an eight and a half ish. So I need to do a little research because that is one thing I cannot, they do not mark these. There is no size on these at all, but I'm going by, I'm a true nine. So these have to be at least probably an eight and a half because they almost are perfect, like perfect, perfect. So I am now going to resell those even though originally I bought them for myself and I was I didn't want to take off my tennies and my socks in the store so okay then I got this little like wood finial thing to craft with and um, anytime I find like little wood pieces like this I always just want to pick them up for like a craft project I could just think of so many things I could do. It's a unique little little piece. So I paid $1.44 for that. Okay, so I think that is it. I got this. Oh, I did find all this silverware too, which is super vintage. And I did find some pieces on eBay. And they were really in crappy shape. These are really nice, and they're still out there on eBay actively selling. Um, I can't remember the exact name of these now, but they are Cambridge. So, I had Echo, Oneida, and then these Cambridge ones. So, these are just not, I think, as popular, um, but I am seeing them, like I said, out there on eBay, and people are still picking them up. And there's quite a few, quite a few. So I will probably just throw them out there, list them, and then tuck them away. At least this stuff, you can put them in a baggie, throw them in a tote, and they're not taking up a lot of space. So I'm not going to go crazy with silverware. Okay, so that does conclude um, yesterday's little haul. Okay, so now we're going to get to today because that... I was excited about the stuff I found yesterday. Like, there's some money to be made there for sure. Like, especially just with the silverware alone. And when I saw those sitting in the bag on the shelf, I just, like, knew. You know, I'm starting to get kind of an eye for things. Like, I think every um, picker or, you know, reseller starts to kind of, like, you know, develop this like, oh, that's got to be worth some money or, you know, like they just see it. And then once they look into it, like I didn't look up comps. To, I got them for so cheap. I didn't even look up comps for them until I got out of there. And I was like, that just made it a hundred times better. I don't normally do that. Normally I'll like kind of go somewhere in the store and kind of check out, you know, be on Google and checking out stuff. I did not do that yesterday and I just happened to get really lucky very lucky okay so today I got some things for myself and some things to sell so we will go over that stuff 
Okay, I got this cute little navy blue pitcher. It is pottery. Um, there is, I got it for $3.99. Uh, that light is gonna be my best friend and my enemy. Anyway, it's a beautiful blue. It's almost kind of like, it's navy, but more maybe cobalt. More maybe a, a deep cobalt blue. But that'll go somewhere on a shelf in my kitchen. Um, put some stuff in it. I love it. I love the little spout on it. Love it. So yeah, three ninety nine for that, and that's for myself. And then I got these two navy blue candles, and. I don't know about your Goodwills, but my Goodwills have recently lowered the price to $1.44 on candles, probably to get rid of them. Now, I do need to run some, if you ever get a candle that is kind of beat up and nicked or, you know, you can run hot water over them and you can wash a candle and smooth them back out and get them looking like brand new. I've done that several times. So, you, you can do that these have definitely you know you can tell they've been thrown around um but yeah for a dollar 44 candles are expensive these days and my accent color is navy pretty much throughout my house so i was tickled to find those then i found this adorable little boot how cute for like spring. I'm gonna put some cute little like lavender or something in that. It's got the little buckle. I only paid $1.44 for it. And I just saw that at the last minute. I thought, oh my God, what a cute, like just sitting like on my hutch or on a cute little shelf with like some greenery or flowers, little spring flowers in there. Actually, I bought some cute little tulips from the Target dollar spot. Oh. That's what I'm doing. And it's got like fake mud painted on it. Aren't those cute? Isn't that adorable? You guys, look at that. I, man, this light. But that is so stinking cute. Just a muddy boot. And I'm gonna put some, I think I'm gonna put those tulips in there. And you guys, I still need to decorate my hutch for Easter and I'm gonna get that video done today. I am. As soon as I get done filming this, I'm gonna get that done because I wanna get it done for myself. Because I'm probably having Easter. And my hutch isn't horrible, but I just want it to be finished. Like say, it's decorated. And clean my dining room and put my new runner on the table and just make it look beautiful. I need to do that for me. <sighs> but life's been crazy. Life has been life. Okay, so that was all, oh. And then I just saw this adorable little t-shirt for one of my little guys. It was 240 and it was 50% uh, off blue tag today. So I got that for $1.20. It's just cute. It's got little surfboards and a shark. It's pink, like real light pink, but I think my little guy Kenji will look adorable in it. And if it, it's a 3T, and that should fit him. Okay, so that is that. Okay. Then I went to another Goodwill. That was my first Goodwill. And then I went to another Goodwill and I found this basket for $1.44. That's pretty good. It's a good size basket. I love this. I absolutely love this basket. I can, I see things that I can do with this. So I'm excited about that. And I love the color, just so natural. Okay, so that's to keep. Another thing I got to keep was just a candle, again. Oh, 
Creamy Vanilla Swirl. It's by Candlelight. Who carries Candlelight? It smells so good. I love vanilla. Dollar forty four. It's hardly been burned. Has been burned, but hardly. So because it's for myself, I don't care. And I'm a burner. I'm a burner. And then another thing for myself. I think these are old. But I can get them open. Probably not. Man, they really tape these bags. Good. Okay, I won't mess with it, but anymore. But these are little like Mod Podge eggs. And they are so pretty. That's why I was trying to get this open to show you guys. I paid $1.44. Okay, I'm just going to rip open the bag. And I'll pull up a couple. So. They're like little ornaments. With little spring flowers on them. And this pretty peach one. Oh, and then there's a little, a blue one with the, an adorable little chick. And there was a, like a sticker on one of these. This one has a pretty butterfly. Maybe I don't need to use this lamp after all. I feel like it ruins my videos. Okay, so these are made in Taiwan. They were not made in Japan or in China. So, but I got for $1.44, three. Oh, and they have like a silk. This is like a silk um, tie. So there's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten darling little eggs. Those are so sweet. So a dollar forty four for those. And then I found this um, New York Yankees hat to resell. I'm not a Yankees fan. I'm a Cubs fan. But it was $2.59. So I'm going to get that baby all cleaned up and get that listed. And then our DVDs at our Goodwill are $0.99. Cents. And I think that's pretty common throughout all of them. But I found... The first and second complete season of Friends. And I know people are buying these. Friends will never die. Ever. And these are in, I took them out. And these are in absolute beautiful condition. Not one slightest scratch on any of them. So whoever had these took great care of them. And uh, I have not run comps on these, but for 99 cents, anything I make on them is profit because they're going to go for more than 99 cents. So, yeah. Now, we have the entire box set. The entire box set. And I will say that that was bought for my daughter. Um, and it costs like $100 for the box set. So... How many seasons were friends were there? Is there 10 or 12? I can't remember. But, I mean, 
I could at least make 10 bucks a piece on these, if not a little more. I don't know. I'll have to run comps on them and see. I will do that as I'm editing, and then I will put them here. I think they're always over here. Or here. Here. On this side. On this side. Okay. Then for my little guys, I found these. One for Beck and one for Ken Ken. Kenji, and their little Kawasaki um, motorcycles, and listen. one I feel like oh there it goes it took off <laughs> ah, and then this one that does look like a wheelie I don't think the other one did that anyway I'm going to get a kick out of those. Okay, and then I found just a nice pancake spatula. And since I got those new OXO pans that were in a previous video, I've been very careful to not scratch them. And the only pan or a flipper that I had that was like a good size was metal. And so I've been really struggling because we make pancakes a lot. So I found a big one that will be perfect for... Oh. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Are you checking out everything mommy bought? Mm hmm? You want to go outside? Mm hmm? Okay. So, we'll get comfortable. You want to sit on mommy's lap? Mm hmm? Then I found this cute little for $1.44 little brass candle holder for a taper love it super cute and then I got these my um, son-in-law is a Bears fan so I have one Bears fan and one Packers fan and those guys are hilarious for Christmas, this past Christmas, well, December 2022, so yeah, I got them each a really nice, I got John a Bears hoodie, and I got Nick a Green Bay Packers hoodie, and the two of them, like, were sitting across the room from each other, and they held up their, you know, um, and of course, you know, they've always got stuff to say about it. But it's just funny listening to them, you know, banter back and forth. But it's all in fun. But anyway, so I found these Bears shot glasses. So I always do like a little fun bag for them. Um, and so I'm definitely going to, you know. I This year I did like a football theme. Then they got a bag with like slippers. And I did like peanuts and snacks to watch football. Um, but the slippers... I got at like TJ Maxx or whatever but you know like we always us girls always have those sweater slippers or like the fuzzy whatever that pull up and I've never seen them in the guys sizes but I saw them and I just thought that was so funny because the girls are always so comfy and everything so they got hoodies you know comfy slipper socks they got all their snacks to you know watch the game they each got a six pack of beer of their favorite beer um, uh, so yeah, it was, you know, fun, um, just shopping for them this past year. So I picked these up and that'll go probably in John's little goodie bag. He doesn't watch my videos, so I don't have to worry about him seeing them. Okay. Now this is my grand finale of finales. Okay. So I found men's size 11 and a half. Fry Boots. Not Fry and Company. Fry. 
leather sole. These guys look like they've hardly been worn. The heels aren't worn down in the slightest bit. They are in excellent, excellent condition. The comps on these, I can probably get. They're beautiful leather. They do need some conditioning for sure. I mean, they just look dry, but like they've been sitting in somebody's closet, not being worn. Hence the reason they were donated, I'm sure. But side zipper, these are sharp boots. Very nice, very nice. Fry, little insignia, leather bottom, says fry right across there. So these are bolos from what I've heard. Bolo, 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 meaning if you see them, pick them up. Like it is a definite pick them up. So these were my buy of the day, aside from the silverware. I mean, okay, silverware, I gotta say, was probably the best find, the absolute best find. These were the second best find, in my opinion. So I did, um, I have been getting a few more Macari and eBay sales lately. Um, I just finally shipped off, um, I sold the Scandinavian bird, the uh, mid-century modern bird, I sold that for 30. Um, I've sold some Victoria's Secret bras recently, but honestly, I really got to get busy on posting. I've been really bad about that. Um, I did have to get my room clean, get a lot of stuff ready because I was going to be working from home. So I needed to, you know, prioritize and that was, you know, pretty important. Um, but I am going to get the dining room ready and I'm going to film no matter what I look like. I was waiting for a day that maybe I had my hair all done and makeup on and whatever, but I'm off today from work and it's Sunday and I am just going to be me and get my hutch decorated. And I hope you guys tune in, you know, check that one out because that'll probably be coming shortly after I post this. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to, you know, life gets in the way sometimes, but, um, you know, maybe a lot of people, most people probably already decorated for Easter and that's fine, but people will still come across it and be able to decorate next year. I, I've done lot, watched lots of videos that were years old and still got just as much enjoyment out of it as if it was posted, you know, yesterday. So I'm not worried about that, but it is definitely a video that I want to get out there. Um, I've been anticipating it. I told you guys I was going to do it and I'm going to do it. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed shopping and getting everything and I was excited. Lots of exciting things and yeah. So like and subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed and please hit that like button. Please, please. It definitely helps my channel and definitely subscribe. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm slowly climbing the YouTube ladder very slowly. You know, I'm, I'm getting new subscribers and I appreciate you all so, so much and, um, enjoy your coming up week and I will see you in the next one.